I'm in Thames, New Zealand at Adama Farm. This is a market garden that specializes in greens, microgreens, and some specialty summer crops. But what I'm going to talk to them today about is their strawberry patch. They have 600 plants here and they did 300 kilos in a growing season, which is pretty amazing because it, it was the first planting of the strawberries. I'm going to sit down and talk with Yotam K about what they did here. That's coming up next on The Urban Farmer. Alright, Yotam, tell me about what you've done with your strawberries here. This is the first time I've planted strawberries. I've made a lot of research about how to do it. I contacted the, the nursery who sold me the strawberries in the last minute after the fridges were closed. <laughs> but they, as I asked them for a thousand plants, a yeah. thousand um, roots, plants with, um, without roots, bare rooted plants. Yeah. And they said they can spare me those. I asked for a specific variety called Camarosa. Camarosa. So that, that's an Italian variety? I'm actually, I don't know enough about that. Okay, okay. okay. Um, but I know it's, re it's really good for our local conditions. It's a really vigorous plant and produces beautiful big strawberries, red, really tasting. Yeah, yeah. And really good for the local fresh market. Yeah, yeah. And so one thing I noticed about what you've done is you've used the landscape fabric. Tell me about what you did there. Okay. Because um, it's on the beds too, right? Yeah, so out of the thousand plants I chose the, the best 700 and I've put 600 in weed mat and I've put 100 without weed mat, just for comparison. Uh, okay, 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 okay. And the weed mat made all the difference. What I've done here is I've buried the edges. I have 3.6 wide strip of weed mat, which covers three rows, and I've got two of them. So rows. that's 3.6 meter wide for the American viewers. Definitely. <laughs> and I've buried the edges because we've got really high winds here, we can get 100, 150 Yeah, they can rip right off. Yeah, yeah. so this will stay. Um, and then I've used my, my torch flame weeder and I've, um, I've marked the holes and I've, uh, I've done the holes in two staggered rows, two rows staggered and um, 30 centimeters in the row. Okay, so guys, that's basically 12 inches in row, two rows per basically 30 inch bed. And if you're curious, I've got a video on how to do that with a torch. <laughs> Great. And amendments, I put about six, six wheelbarrows of compost in each bed and I've put about 20 kilos of solid fertilizers. I've um, foliar fed this with seaweed once in the season, I could have done more. And basically we've had a bumper crop. These plants have produced about um, half a kilo of fruit per plant. Most of them in sellable grade. I've, I've harvested over 300 kilos of strawberries in a couple of months. and. Um, and sold almost all of them. Okay, so 300 kilos, that's essentially over 600 pounds. So that's basically a pound a plant in the first season of strawberries. That's amazing. Um, do you think the landscape fabric, I mean, obviously it helps suppress weeds, yeah. but do you think the drawing the heat to the strawberries helped in the beginning of the season as, I, with as well? I think for sure. The plants look really healthy all the time. Um, I think it warms up the soil, I think it creates good aeration, it preserves moisture. Although yes, we've used, yeah. um, I've used other mulches and other patches, um, this worked so much better. And interestingly, this is not really deep dug. I didn't dig this very deep and the plants just love it. Wow. And next season I'm expecting um, in two months time when the, when the f f first frost will come, I'm going to cut the tops off, I'm going to take my runners, cut the tops off, let it regrow for a second season. I'm expecting to have a better crop, more yields next year, but of a little bit smaller strawberries. Okay, so that's some cool information. I, I, I like to know for myself and for you guys what you mean. Okay, so sh show us, okay, I know what the runners are, right? The runners are these things here, Yeah. right? Which ideally I would put sawdust or wood chip in the path yep. and they will start growing roots yep. and then I'll cut them in April, put them um, in potting mix, let them grow for a few more weeks and then I'm going to have um, another three rows. I'm going to basically have every year I want to have ha half of new plantings and, um, and take half of it out. But because this is a first year patch, this right. is just going to stay for a second year. So that's the cool thing about strawberries is that once you get a good set, they'll replicate each year and then you can plant those runners. So he's going to let those runners root, 
replant them, start another patch, and then he could take those ones each year. You can keep multiplying your strawberries. So yeah. that's super cool. So tell me what you mean by you're gonna chop down the strawberry plants. Show us what that looks like. Um, I'm still not sure how I'm gonna do it. Either I'm gonna experiment, I'm going to either weed it or cut with a knife. What I'll be doing is I'll, I'll, cut, I'll take the plant like this and above the crown, I'm going to cut it. Yep. So what it will do is it will take all of the disease, if there is any, out of the field and it will, I'll do it early enough so there will be new growth for the winter and before the main, main winter season and so the plants will be really healthy. Yeah, they, and they'll, they'll fertilize again. Exactly. So, I mean, the cool thing there is that they're going to have a fresh start. So, um, like Yotam was saying, is, you know, you'll get sort of fungal diseases, especially in humid climates, you'll get fungal diseases and things that will build up in the foliage. So if you tear that off and you cut it at the base, you're going to force that plant to reproduce itself again, but have a fresh start. So that's, that's good stuff. Another thing I'm going to do, and I've already done, is I'm inoculating this with beneficial bacteria and fungi. Um, I did find that one of my, my worst pests were fungi. Um, I had a damage from that, especially when it's, um, when it's overcast and it's wet. Um, one thing that I do to avoid that is to make sure that I pick just before that rain event. But in main season, we picked um, every day or every second day. We would get, um, in the main season, pick season, maybe five to seven kilos a day from this patch. And this really made a big difference for us in spring. This is something that early summer for us, early spring, actually middle spring, you can say November, I could take to the farmer's market 15, 20 kilos of strawberries, sell them. We, we made $6,000 this season from this patch. Wow, who knew, who knew strawberries could be so easy? This is something everybody can do in their garden or their farm. It's a great crop to start with. Hope you guys found that useful. If you, if you want to check out more information about Adama Farm, I'll have the links below. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like and share them with your friends. Hit the subscribe button right now, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching.